All right, so most of you probably don't know me. Most of you probably don't know me. But I decided to start this channel after I found out that I lost my job. And it's one of the worst feelings, actually, right? That you go into work and, or you just wake up, I guess, and you start the day thinking that it's going to be normal. But it ends up... Uh, you know, being totally not what you expect it to be, and that's what kind of what happened to me, you feel me, uh, I just, just woke up, went to my job, got there, the guy was like, yo, we're terminated, you know, we're terminating you, and I was like, okay, bro, terminated was very, uh, very harsh words, but fired, terminated, uh, you know, get the hell out of here, whatever <laughs> way you get fired, or whatever verb, uh, you know, vernacular is used for that. At the end of the day, um, when you lose your job, it's uh, it's rough. It's tough. It takes a psychological toll on you. Uh, you don't really know you know what to do next, and that's kind of where I'm at. You know, so I've been thinking about this for a while, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna start this YouTube channel. You know, I'm, I'm gonna start this um, <laughs> as a way to reach out and see how many uh, uh, people out there, um, you know are in this situation where, yeah, they got laid off, but maybe it was the best thing that could have ever happened to you. Because the job that you're working was just not even worth fighting for. Like, the guy let me go, and I was just like, okay. You know, it wasn't like, you, you know, no, I need the job, you know, please don't, you know, fire me, whatever. It was, and it's not... I hope it's not arrogance, but it's it was just to a point where I was like, why would I fight for something that I don't even want? You know, I don't I don't want this job. What I want, my passion, what I really want to do is is write, is poetry, is helping people, is is traveling and and sharing knowledge and helping people attain logic and help their lives and understand that most of the things that that were told in life are just kind of false their lies or you know and it's just it's unfortunate that we live in these in this world that we that maybe not even we create but are created for us and we're placed inside of of, of these worlds and once you find out how false it really is you know it scares you but it also kind of gives you an insight into this amazing other world you know where we're you can do what you want to do and you can make money and support your family and live your life the way that you want to live it, you know, not checking in, not going to a nine to five, you know, but actually living, you know, as, as if work and life could be one. So without this becoming like really long, this is going to be kind of a journey. Um, I'm 27 years old. I have a baby daughter, she's beautiful, she's grown up way too fast, and I'm married to an amazing wife, she's an artist, and she paints all these cool things, and, and I just, uh, and I'm a writer, you know, I've been writing since I was, since I was really young, since I was 10, the, the, that's the only way that I, that I've found to express myself and, and to really be who I am, so I've been writing, blogging, uh, you know, I got a website, amazingislife.com, uh, and, and the whole purpose of, of that blog was to help people, to write articles and to educate uh, people, point them in the right direction, giving them the resources that would kind of unlock these doors or, or, or give you that view into the other world, you know, to kind of show you that life isn't as it seems and, and, and all of this, you know, stuff that you see on TV, all these things, you know, uh, that we kind of get trapped in with the desires and materialistic things that they're not really important. What's important is knowledge, education, you know, intellect, reason, books, reading, all these things. These are the things that are important and, and polishing the talents that you have that, so that we can, you know, mesh work and life and fun and all of that good stuff together. So anyways, uh, that's what this channel is going to be about. Uh, it's going to be about me. Um, I'm, 
trying to become a musician, uh, trying to do spoken word poetry. Uh, I have like five or six tracks on SoundCloud. Um, I'm doing, like I said, the, the Amazing is Life, the, the blog, and all these things are not monetized. They don't have, and I'm, I'm going to be very honest with you guys, they don't make me any money. But now with what's happened, it has thrown me into this place where it's like, I need to get serious about this. And I need to, and I need to do this. So, you know, I know there's a lot of you out there who are in the same situation as me. I know that. I know there's people out there that want to do something, that they have this talent, that they have these inhibitions, these dreams, but they don't. They put them on hold and they're trapped in these cubicles and these McDonald's and the corporate world, what have you. And they're like me. They can relate to me. Either they're they're you know at a job where they're miserable, or they've just been laid off. And so I hope um, you know you guys follow me on this journey. If you guys like to give this uh, video a thumbs up and all that stuff, I'm not like a YouTuber or anything, so I don't know the lingo. You know, thumbs up, comment, like, you know, share and all that stuff. But you know, I know you guys <laughs> know YouTube far better than I do. So do the things and um, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.